Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. I'm the PhD antiques appraiser, expert answers to all your questions. Everything's unscripted. I don't know what objects my guests are going to show me. Here's my first guest. That's so oh, my God. How are you? I'm so good. Thank you for taking my call. I'm happy to take your call. I like your New York Yankees t-shirt. Your jersey's beautiful. <laughs> Dr. Lori, I put it yes. in you. Well, thank you very much. I love my New York Yankees. I know oh, I don't like the Yankees. Everybody loves, should like the Yankees and, and your teams too. Don't forget your Dr. Lori Says t-shirts too. They're available on the channel. Ooh, I'm already your... flying and I already got the <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. What's your name? Where are you calling from, sweetie? Uh, my name is Silene and I'm calling from Wilmington, North Carolina. Nice to see you, Silene. Okay, tell me, what have you got? Let's see. So I got this painting. I know, I think it's in acid because I see that you say what is in acid, get brown. There is no, there is no matte on that piece, so it cannot be in acid. When I talk about acid, I'm talking about a matte, a paper matte that goes around it. You don't have that on this. Show me the back of this, sweetie. And how did you get this? How much did you pay? Where did you get it? Okay, so I got it at Ray Store. Ray Store is, um, is a like I don't know our organization like, like you know, like Hab Habitat for Humanity Restore. Yeah. Okay. So can I see the front of it? Yes. Definitely. Okay. All right. Nice. So that piece is that piece looks like to be an oil on canvas board. That means that it's a piece of board and then they put a canvas over it and that's for artists who want to paint outdoors. They paint outdoors and basically they can take the canvas board. They don't have to stretch the canvas. It's the same as oil on canvas, wet stretch, but it's right up against a board. That piece looks like it dates anytime between 1900 and about 1930. The frame is from the 1940s and I would say value on your piece looks like it's a about 11 by 16, maybe a little bit larger than that, 11 by 14, 11 by 16. Value on that piece, about $65. Where did you buy? Oh, you bought it at Restore, and how much did you pay? I pay like $3. $3 is good to make 65. Oh Thanks so God. much. Thank you so much. I'm obsessed with you. I'm obsessed. I watch you whole day, all the time. Me and my husband, we are obsessed. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to learn a lot. I'm going to make you some money. You're going to yeah. succeed. Stick with me. Thank you so much, Dr. Lori. Thanks for calling in. Bye-bye. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to ask the question of the day. She was cutie pie. We were talking about the Yankees. But paintings, don't think if it's not the same type of thing, you're going to see it. Oh, question of the day for you, honey. I forgot to ask you. Which rock group would you listen, were you listen, would you listen to? Do you like Kiss or the Bee Gees? The Bee Gees. Okay, the Bee Gees. Okay, there you go. That's our question of the day. Nice to see you. Thank I you. forgot it. I was I was excited over the, over my baseball team. I love baseball. I love sports. I like to watch sports. Anyway, I'm so happy that she's obsessed. I hope you're all obsessed with the channel. I hope you will share the channel too. There's a lot of information that I can share with you. Here's my next guest. <gasps> Dr. Lori, I'm on. Hi. I'm so, hi. I'm so glad we had technical difficulties. I'm glad you're back. Yes. Good. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to show Beautiful. you. <laughs> What's your name, honey? I like the blue bandana. Thank you. I got yeah. that in the state sale. <laughs> oh, well, hey, good stuff everywhere. <laughs> Who's the arm? Who's the arm next to you? Oh, uh, it's my friend. Hi, <laughs> friend. He's camera shy, but. He's camera shy. Yeah. Uh, I, bet he, I bet he's, oh, there he is. There I don't. There. How are you doing? What's your name? Oh, my name's Golden. Get over here. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me see the guns. You know, sun's out, guns out. Let's see them. I want to see your tattoo. Oh, nice. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Look, who is it? Nefertiti? Who's at the yeah. top? Oh, at the oh, top. Oh, oh, we've got it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's all historical. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> like it. Oh, cool. Nice to meet you, sweetie. I'm sorry. Okay. Question of the day for the two of you. You ready? The Bee Gees yes. or Kiss? Bee Gees. Bee Gees. Yeah, you think so? Yes. Okay, all right. Good enough. <laughs> all right. Um, do you, so did you get your groove on? You know, you're in the clubs and you're doing the, you know, you're doing the, <laughs> the John Travolta move. I'm doing the John Travolta move. You remember Saturday that move, <laughs> right? Saturday Night Fever, the white, right? Those white outfits like this. Yeah. <laughs> right? I was not a good dancer. I didn't bother. I was like, I could sing, but I wasn't dancing. Anyway. Yeah. I love the tattoos. The tattoos oh, are cool. Okay. Golden anyway, Golden. back to you. First name. Where are you calling from? I'm Gina and I'm Hi, calling Gina. from Sacramento, California. Okay, baby. All right. So tell me what, what are you going to show me? 
Okay, so I'm- Other than your cute friend. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this is something that we got for free. Um, we were in Davis, California, and okay. we were driving around, and these people were, um, they were clearing out his house. Okay. They just put this on the curb. And um, they were about to take it to Goodwill, but we stopped and we basically asked if we can have the pictures or this. And they were like, yes. And we don't really know what it is. Um, have you had it? Have you had it translated? No. Um, okay. There's something on the back. Oh, crap. Um, I don't know if oh I Bengali, Sanskrit. Yep, 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 yep. Um, it says it's a treatise on weather. So you have an idea of what it is, assuming that that's accurate. Of course, I don't read Sanskrit, but I will say a couple of different things. First of all, that piece of paper probably dates to the 19th century. So whoever wrote 1800s on it is accurate based on the paper and the look of the paper. Oftentimes in the middle, you see that square. There's usually an image in the middle that tells you what's happening. So the visual image, you know, there's a big, long tradition in art history of images telling the story for those who are illiterate. So there usually there was at one point an image there, a square image, you know, probably of what, you know, if it's a weather treatise, probably of weather, something like that. It's relatively long and it would be rolled as a scroll, right? Somebody right. decided to put it under glass. Um, how much did you pay for? Oh, you got it for nothing, right? Somebody just gave it to you? Yeah, we got it for free. Um, okay. And a bunch of, we have a bunch of other ones, but of course we just, we just picked this one out of the bunch we got. Free so. is good. Free is good. I got a question about those mirror doors. I would hate that in my room to see the big mirror, but you're gorgeous. So I guess you don't mind. Oh, no. Does that bother you? You get up and you're kind of looking bad and you're like, oh, that big mirror is there. Would that, bo that bother me? Honestly, I sometimes I'm sitting here and I'm like checking out my hair a little bit too. All right. These well, I guess, if I, I guess if I look like you, I'd be looking in the mirror too. Anyway, oh, value yeah. on your piece about a hundred dollars okay. uh, because you're missing that in that inset piece. Right. So, okay. Very good for free. A hundred for free is good. Yes. Don't forget the Bee Gees. Boo, boo, boo. I got to get a tattoo. I got to get a tattoo. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Maybe something like, I don't know, Queen Elizabeth or somebody. Right. <laughs> right. That would be cool. Bye. Love, love you. Cool. Wow. Love you. Be good to each other. Yes. <laughs> All right. Nice to see you. I like that too. I don't think I could take the pain. <laughs> I like the color. I like the idea, but I don't think I could take the pain, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe my mother's birthday or something. I don't know, something like that. I think people do cool things with tattoos. They're very creative, but that Queen Nefertiti was nice, you know, and then there's a Native American image too. Anyway, enough about that. That's fun. Uh, I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD antiques appraiser. Um, and I'm taking your calls and answering your questions. I'm always happy that you're here. I'm happy you share the channel. Thank you for helping the channel to grow. And thank you for your super chats and your super stickers, which help to support the channel and my staff that make sure all the technical stuff works. Because if I had, if they left that to me, forget it. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. How are you doing? Hey, Dr. Lori. I'm Trisha. Hey. Good. How are you? What's your first name? I'm fine, hon. Trisha. Oh, hi, Trisha. Yeah. Where are you calling from? Pensacola, Florida. Pensacola. Beautiful Pensacola. So. Yeah. You know, you've got your MP3 player or your turntable or your eight track tape or your cassette tape or a, a CD or a DV, whatever it might be. What are you listening to? Are you listening to Kiss or the Bee Gees? No, it'd be the Bee Gees for sure. Okay. The Bee Gees are winning big so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Question of the day. Yeah. All right. So were you one who were out on the dance floor? Did you go to those clubs? No, I'm, no, I'm not. No, my, no, not that old. <laughs> No, oh, no, I don't think no. in the living room, maybe. Yeah, it was, it was, we we're dancing in the living room, right? Right, yeah. Sure. I, I remember that after school because after school, I was one of the kids who had the key. You know, you get home and no one's home because everybody's working. So you got home and I would play on the record player a lot in the afternoon before anybody got home um, after school. And it could be really loud because. Yeah. It couldn't be really loud once my World War II <laughs> veteran father got home. It was not going to be loud. So right. anyway, all right. Tell me about what you got, okay. honey. So I found this at Goodwill. And um, I like that. It's. I like that. And that those gloves look so good on you. Thank you. <laughs> I thought I would do something to make you happy. Sure. Hey, you know, everybody's got to have the gloves. You should yeah. all have the t-shirt though. I'm noticing none of you have the Dr. Lori says t-shirt on. You better get some. Anyway, can I see the bottom of that piece? That piece is very nice. Any chips, any cracks. It's porcelain, of course, yeah. hand painted. Right. There's no chips or cracks. There's like a couple little spots where maybe the paint, like, I mean, just barely. You can know? I see the bottom, please? Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm That's not trying cool. to. Um, I know you're going to, she's abrupt, she's rude, da-da-da. Trying to move on. Yeah. 
Uh, I can see that. Harry Rael, um, and then it says Pant a la Man, and then it has like a crown with swords, and then um, down here is a little symbol with Fs. Like yep. Alternating Fs. Yeah. Okay. So um, how much did you pay for it? Where did you get it? Where was it living before you rescued it? Well, it was at Goodwill. Okay. Was it on a high shelf, a low shelf? Was it hiding? Did somebody put it away? What happened? This Where is it? This is super unorganized and they just have okay. everything up high on like above the racks for clothes. Oh, okay. It was there with everything else. I mean, and I thought the colors is what drew me to it. I thought, well, that's really pretty. Um, you know, and then I touched put it. Up to it your camera, will you, Trisha? Put it up to your camera for me, baby. Here's what I want you guys to see. So in each individual area, they could have painted more. So it becomes like a blank for another landscape scene. Sometimes they paint the whole thing in, sometimes they don't. Notice also what are those blue areas that are sort of in these semicircular points, but mm -hmm. the middle where it's got a rose garland at the top and then it looks like it comes down like this and then it's got some more flowers, right? In the right. middle, they would have painted a figure, but usually a little landscape. Two lovers in a picnic or maybe a little mountain, that kind of thing. Okay. They don't do it on all of them. So what you have is not one that's unfinished. It's just one that uses the blank as the as the pattern. Okay. Value on your piece, I'm going to guess it's 12 inches tall with the lid. It's a ginger jar. Yeah. Ginger jars have a lid. They come in all different variations of sizes. Value on that piece, just about $95. How much did you pay? Four dollars and ninety-four. Uh, there it is. Goodwill, goodwill, goodwill. Okay. Don't forget the Salvation Army, and of course those other smaller thrift right. stores. Always negotiate. Oh, they don't negotiate where I am. Ask anyway. You know, it's a brand new day every day. Nice to meet you. So Me it's too. the PGs for Trisha. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live, where I do free appraisals, expert appraisals based on decades of experience as an appraiser and a PhD in art history. Yeah, there are other people doing appraisals. I'm going to tell you the truth about what people really pay based on actual sales records where similar pieces sold. Sold. Not, oh, it's an asking price somewhere. People don't know the market. The market's flooded for certain pieces where they actually sold. Have you signed up to my newsletter yet? Well, you should have. It's at drlaurieV.com. Get there, sign up. All you have to do is put in your email address and we will send you the newsletter when we send it out. We send the newsletter out at intervals. So lots of information there too. And lots of information, of course, here with my next guest. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. How are you doing? I'm good, Dr. Lori. How are you? I'm fine. What's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm Valerie and I'm calling from Denver. Valerie, honey, what's behind you? Um, right well, you, it looks like three things in like a frame. Yep, it's uh, three handmade snowflakes I made out of paper. Oh, nice. That's cool. Yeah. I can't make anything. I'm terrible at everything. Yeah, <laughs> Not very I can crochet, but that's about the end oh. of it. So, <laughs> Valerie, um, I think you, you seem familiar to me. Did you find something in a goodwill bin that I appraised and then you resold? Uh, several things actually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're doing yeah. well. Is the channel helping? The channel is helping a lot. And I actually branched out and got a piece of artwork. I'm going to have you look at today. All right. So you're calling from Denver. You're Valerie. How much did you pay for this object that you want me to see? Um, I paid by weight. So it was maybe $2. Okay. $2. <laughs> um, and then here we go. All right. Show me the whole piece. I don't care about the signature. Show me the whole piece. You guys care about signatures. Experts don't care so much about signatures. That piece is stretched over a stretcher. That piece dates to uh, the latter part of the 20th century. I'd go 1965 to 1980. And tell me, oil on canvas, it's signed? It is signed and it's oil on board. Okay, so it's oil on canvas wrapped around board. Okay, that's yeah. fine. And what you just did with your with your hands, you can do that. Just be careful. Oh, okay. Saint me out. Okay, fine. All right. So I would say value on that piece, which is European. Um, as I said, latter part of the 20th century. Value on that piece. Oh, I forgot to ask you the question of the day. The Bee Gees or Kiss? Bee Gees. Really? Nobody's a yeah. concert goer, you know, with the big shoes and yeah. the makeup. Okay, the Bee Gees. Yeah. The Bee Gees are winning big on this one. They are. Anyway. Value on your piece, just about $75 with the frame. Pretty good for a couple bucks in the Goodwill bins. Yeah, thank you. Keep going, keep going. I will. So, good to see All you. Right. So tell good. me, Valerie. Oh, is Valerie going? No, oh, I'm so. still here. Oh, Valerie. So um, if I remember correctly, one of the pieces that you had that you sold was actually a sash with Boy Scout patches on it. Is that right? That's correct. I yep. appraised it. How much did you sell it for? 
$1,100. And how much did I appraise it for? You, it was about eight fifty, and I posted it a little higher so I could bargain, but I sold yeah. it for eleven hundred. <laughs> See, stick with me, folks. I'm gonna yep. help you make the money. That's a big deal. Good for you. Congratulations, honey. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, that's Valerie. There's your testimonial. You can go everywhere else, or you can stay right here, and I'm gonna show you how to make the money. This is Dr. Lori's Ask Dr. Lori Live. I love doing the live appraisals. Shout out to my friends in the chat. Hey, Chrissy, isn't that sweet? That's sweet. I love it when you're talking to one another and I appreciate very much the super chats and the super stickers because you show me that you like what the channel's doing. So thanks very much for that. I do all of these for free for you. So I appreciate your support. Thanks for the super chats and the super stickers. I'm Dr. Lori, my next guest. So I've been talking about all kinds of things and I want you to answer the question of the day. The question of the day today is, would you have you, would you prefer the band Kiss or the band The Bee Gees? What's your choice? Are you talking What's to me? Cho I'm talking to you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right, baby. <laughs> um, I would prefer the first one. Okay, Kiss. So she's a Kiss. She's a Kiss concert goer. What's your first name? Where are you calling from? Um, my first name is Estelle, and I'm calling from Scottsdale, Arizona. Hi, Estelle. Nice to see you. How did you acquire the figurines? It was oh, the uh, acquired in Italy. Okay, so it's Capo de Monte. Is it marked on the back or is it yes. Armani? There's um, a mark on the... Oh, gosh. A mark on the, on the back. Take your time. Let's see if we can see the mark. Just take your time. Um, there it is. <coughs> Am I getting you? There. <clears throat> yeah, they yes, right there, baby. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's the Naples with the crown. So that of course is the Capo de Monte mark, very well known for the, the Duchy of Naples, right? Southern right. Italian, ceramic, hand painted, hand glazed. How much did you pay for this? Um, I it was my mother's. Uh oh, she I bought see. it. So she so bought I, it in the 1960s or 70s? Correct. Right around the time that the Bee Gees and Kiss are on stages all over. Right. Can I see the whole piece? I've seen the marks now. Can I see oh, the okay. whole piece? There you go. Well, so sorry. a couple things. Multiple figures on a vase. Here's what to look for. Estelle, you ready? Okay. Yep. So a couple of different things. First of all, um, multiple figures on a vase can, um, when it is complex ceramic or complex sculpting, um, you have to look at how good the actual painting is. The painting's a little bit better on the female sculpture than it is on the male. It's all one piece, all one figurine, and value on your piece, which I'm assuming is Estelle? Yes, I'm here. Moving. <laughs> Gee, you're making me seasick. About five, about eight inches tall, babe. Eight um, inches it's tall. It's about eight inches tall. Eight inches tall. Value on it about fifty dollars. Thank you, Estelle. Nice to Thank see you. you. You know, it's kind of like you know we're in the space shuttle or something, and everything. I know. Moving. I'm so sorry. Oh, don't apologize. I'm joking. Don't worry <laughs> about it. <laughs> but I want you know we can't get. I don't want you to get seasick. She's cute though, Estelle. So anyway, she had it from her mom. So family heirlooms can be valuable. Some of the things you go, well, I don't really need this, you know. So um, you know, you think, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna resell it, or I want to at least know, or I want to be fair to the kids. I can't tell you how many of you will say, I want to be fair to the kids, right? I want to know what it's worth, so I'm not giving one kid the fifty thousand dollar painting and the other kid the fifty dollar table. So you know, that's what you want to know. Anyway, then I'm so happy to see you guys giving me your answer to today's question. Kiss <laughs> with all the kisses with the lips. That's nice. Kiss. Oh, that's funny. All right. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. It's good to be with all of you. Hi to Australia. Hi to Australia. Yeah. Saw Kiss in 1980 in Australia. Yeah. When the, sh then the heels were higher, right? You know, that's funny. Anyway. Their story is interesting, you know, all their stories or everybody's story is interesting, actually, their bio. But I saw a bio of one of the members of KISS and, and his humble beginnings. It was very interesting to hear about him and his mom. Anyway, hi, I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, uh, my name is Holly. Hi, Holly. Where are you calling from, hon? What state are you in? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. So nice to see you. So I'm going to assume that Holly is a little camera shy and that's fine. Some of you would like to do a video call privately with me. That's fine too. You can of course book a video call if you like, You can, or you can do it this way. So a couple of different things. 
Um, video calls are, are through our website at drlaurieV.com. So you're in Pennsylvania. Your name is Holly. How did you acquire this piece, Holly? I bought it at a yard sale for $1.50. Okay. $1.50 in the frame? Yes. Okay. So you have a hand-colored lithograph in the frame, which is signed, and a couple of other questions. Is it Kiss or is it Bee Gees for you? Are you Bee staying Gees. alive? <laughs> <laughs> Bee Gees. Bee Gees. Okay. Okay. You caught your sister's ripped jeans on fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's something. Well, Kiss concerts are like that. Actually, the Bee Gees too. So how big is this print? Is this print 11 by 14? It's seven and three quarters by 10. What is seven? The outside or the actual image? Frame to frame. Oh, it's seven frame. by 10. Value on that about $30. You did okay at the yard sale. Always negotiate no matter where you are. It's best to go to a yard sale later. Oh no, really, Dr. Lori? Yeah, the yard sale hosts are exhausted by about 11.30 because they've been up since five tag and everything. Anything else that's left is going to go to the curb by noon. You might as well go in, get it for free or very, very low late in a yard sale day. More yard sale tips and how to sell your yard sale items at drlaurieV.com. So go there and take a read. There's a lot there. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. I know you love it because you're all trying to get to me. So good to see you. Hi, I need you to move your your camera horizontally, please. Yes, oh, ma'am. There you go. Okay. Hi, I'm Dr. Come Lori. On. What's your first name? Linda. Hi, Linda. Where are you calling from, hon? Bandera, Texas. Cowboy Band capital of the world. Bandera, Texas. It's the what, what capital of the world? The cowboy capital of the world. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. What have you got to show me today? I have some pictures I picked up at a yard sale. Let's I'll just see show one. You. Let's see one. Oh, hey, nice. So, Toriador, I think this piece is a, a piece by a student or an amateur, but somebody who has some training, but not an not a professional artist. And you picked it up at a yard sale. How much did you pay? Five for two of Five them. Five dollars. Yes, sir. yes, ma'am. Value on that piece is going to be just about twenty dollars in the frame. Oh, okay. Thank you. And regards Ooh. to the and regards to the cowboy capital of the world. I didn't know that. See, you learn something new every day. You can even teach a PhD a couple things. There you go. Ah, uh, nice to see you. Thanks for joining me. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. If you like it, you got to show it. So I hope you'll share the channel. And I hope, of course, that you will support us with super chats and super stickers as you can. But thank you very much for watching and sharing the channel. I appreciate that very much. So I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD Antiques Appraiser. And today's question of the day, is it Kiss or the Bee Gees? If you had your favorite turntable, right? Whether it was the ones in the cabinet, we had the ones in the cabinet, you know, you go over to the cabinet and the big speakers, you know, which is your favorite? So hi, I'm Dr. Lori. Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm Ace uh, hey, how from you Austin. Doing? How you Good, doing, Good, nice Ace? to see What's you again. Happening, hon? What was that? What's happening? Oh, well, today's my birthday, so. Wow, yay, I'm glad Ace. I'm with you. Ace, happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday. Okay, what Thank are you, you. the earrings that are right in your ear? These, these are galaxy buds. They're a speaker. Oh, okay. okay, I was going to say, they kind of look good. They're kind of like jewelry, yeah. Ace. I'm kind of liking it's, it. It's a headset. I might have to get some of those because you know what? They feel like jewelry to me. And you know what I feel about they're, jewelry? <laughs> they're very, it's a very pretty lavender color. Yeah, they look good. What are you going to do for your birthday? Anything good? Got something planned? Uh, well, it falls on a Wednesday. And I just had a vacation with my partner that we came from the Southwest for about 11 days. So it was okay. fantastic. Uh, oh. We spent a lot of time in Sedona and Bisbee, Arizona, oh, nice. South Arizona. It was lovely. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, well... It's still your birth, <clears throat> pardon me, it's still your birthday. So you gotta, gotta do it up big. I bet your partner's got some good present or dinner or something cool expect for you to expect. Oh, yeah. So good for you, Ace. Well, nice to see you, honey. I wish you all good things for your birthday. I love Thank birthdays. You so much. Birthdays are very important. You should celebrate them big. Okay, show me what you got. <laughs> okay, so let me see if I can flip my camera around. Tech, oh, here we go. So and technically, then, I, I've had a rough year, you know, COVID, everybody has had a rough year and mm -hmm. my grandfather passed away, thankfully not from COVID, uh -huh. um, you know, so we were able to spend some of his last moments with him, he had dementia and whatnot, but good, he left good. me, he left me something behind. Um, I, I would also try to do my best to do as, as good as I can to take good care of him. Let's um, see it. 
So it was apparently from his father. Nice. I'm, I'm trying to confirm a date. It says inside stamp 14K Mac, M-A-C. Yeah. Um, and technically... Back up, he's, back up. Back he, the ring up. There you go. I want, to, I want the camera to focus. Okay, so you've got a nice big diamond, probably at least two carats. Okay, yeah, and I've, we've diamond tested it, and it's confirmed that it is a diamond. Yeah, it's a diamond. Not too close, because the, the camera needs some room. Is okay. that good? And you're trying, to, you're trying to get an idea of a date? So I would put it. Um, okay, go ahead. <clears throat> so, so it does look a little antique. I've tried to do some research online, and I can't really find like these squarish shapes. Apparently, it was given oh. to him by his father in like the forties or sixties, somewhere in between there. <laughs> the forties or sixties. It's the difference between me now and me when I was thirty. <laughs> so you know, the forties or the sixties is twenty years, baby, and that's a big difference. Let me tell you. So yeah. that value that particular piece probably dates right up up the middle, about 1955 to about 1965. It's not a 1940 style ring. Um, two carats or more of total carat weight. You have to look at color and you'll have to look at, of course, um, cut. Clarity looks pretty good even on this camera. And I would have a, a value range between $5,000 and $7,500 for that ring. So wow. if you're wearing it, I want you don't take it off if you're wearing it. Wear it out tonight for your birthday. I do wear it. I do. I, I sure will. Yeah. And think of your grandpa fondly. It was good that you were with him. Always, always. Thanks, Ace. Happy birthday, baby. Thank you very much. <laughs> My pleasure. Bye -bye. That's a nice piece. Now, again, he may go to a GIA certified gemologist and he may find out that that diamond is even better than we're be able to, uh, about, than I'm able to appraise it um, in this venue. So he may actually may actually increase the value some, but it won't be lower than that number. So that's really very nice. When it comes to your jewelry, if it's something you really love, um, investigate, of course, formal appraisals and also insurance for those pieces. And if you're not going to get it insured, then please keep it on your hand. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. Can you put your camera horizontally, please? It's working. Okay, it's not working. All right. Sorry, NASA. Oh, Hi. for what's happening now, but it's got to work. Otherwise, if it doesn't work, you got to go because you got to keep rolling. But sorry about that. Sometimes um, the screens are locked or there's some other technical difficulty. I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live and happy to see all of you. Thanks for joining me. Expert answers to your, of course, um, to your questions about art, antiques, and collectibles. I'm answering the questions, of course, in the chat too. Don't forget um, about my video calls. If you want to do something, you know, one-on-one, -on -one. I have a lot of options for video calls. We're actually even running a video call special right now. So um, you can check that out at drlorev.com. And I can look at uh, multiple items during that time. The specials and shopping page. You know the specials and shopping page. It's really easy. When you go to your device, it's right at the top. It's in red, specials and shop. Click on it. It'll show you um, what all the discounts are. It'll show you all different types of things about shopping and what's happening with Dr. Lori V. And there you go. So I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD antiques appraiser. My guests, all unscripted. I don't know what's coming next. So, and I appraise all different types of objects. Here's my next guest. Hi. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. What's your name? My name is Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Where are you calling from? Um, I'm calling from Virginia. What's behind you, Rebecca? A little bit of Jasper Ware, green, white, Wedgwood, uh, a, a globe. One of my sisters said she bought a globe recently because she's she wants to go traveling again. What's that other thing? Kind of looks like a chicken. <laughs> oh no, this is actually. Oh no, I saw that already. Yeah, <clears throat> that seems familiar to me. Yeah, I actually had a video call with you before, so. Oh well, that's what it was. How did the video call go? What did you think? Was it helpful? Uh yeah, it went well. I think that there's, I mean, I'm learning a lot. Even from just watching your videos on YouTube and everything, I'm learning a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, you would hope, right? Yep, Good. Yep. I'm glad to hear that. What have you got to show me today, Rebecca? So I recently went to um, something. It was advertised like an estate sale, but I think yeah. it was actually some uh, real estate agents that were just selling what was left in the house so that they could then sell the house. So yeah, that, well, yeah, okay. Yeah. A lot so of times the estate sale organizers, the realtors will put things together mm -hmm. in one house. People are surprised by that. Trisha, thank you very much for your support. So they'll put things together. It doesn't always necessarily have to be the same. It's not always the same. Mm -hmm. So question of the day is Kiss or the Bee Gees? Which band? Um, I'll have to go with the trend in the Bee Gees. <laughs> All right. Okay. Show me your object. So um, something I got there was this uh, picture. 
Okay, do you see the metallic frame? Do you see that it's a color, like a pinky kind of beige color? Do you see the actual um, matte as well? This mm -hmm. becomes the 70s, 80s, almost immediately without even looking at anything else. I want you to know what to look for so you can pick it up and resell it or you pick it up for yourself and get something good for your own home. But I want you to know what to look for. That's what others can't do for you. Okay, this particular piece, is it signed? Yes. So it has, has, let's look for it. Go ahead. So it has the um, the signature in pencil. And then the one thing about this that I um, was more curious about, because I've heard you mention about having your pieces in a gallery adds value. Um, so this one actually shows that it was in a gallery. I don't know if it's a... Small okay, can I see the whole back? Can you show me the whole back? Not just that label. Okay, so a couple of things, yes. If a gallery label will increase value, but remember there are different types of galleries. A right. gallery, uh, you know, the gallery that is the 57th Street New York art dealership gallery has a different cachet and different value attached to the objects that were once in it than some frame shop down the street, nice people who are calling themselves, you know, Joe and Susie's gallery, okay? Right. So not a bad thing, just remember what you're looking at. There's a difference between the people who just do framing and the people who are actually art dealers or have an art gallery, make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that particular piece, relatively well-known, New York-based artist. That's a lithograph print. How much did you pay for it? Um, I got a lot of items, and so it probably averaged maybe $5 or so. Okay, $5. Piece is worth $175. Well-known artist, signed on the front, grouper. Basically, value on that piece about $175. That includes the frame, probably put into the frame late 70s, early 80s. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Nice to see you, Rebecca. So lots of things, lots of information. And I want you to know what to look for because I want you to succeed. You know, I want you to know. Hi, Dr. Lori. I have a golden frog pendant necklace. Looks like museum ones, but marked Peru. Any idea about the history and value? Yeah, sure. Couple things, Sam. First of all, if it is cast metal, a particular type of cast metal. So, you know, like a three-dimensional frog pendant. Marked Peru, of course, you're going to have the mark from different places. That's typical. Um, when you say it looks like a museum one, there are a lot of pieces that are reproduced by museum shops, right, that look at their collections, you know, the artwork that's in a museum collection, and they make little things that they can sell, you know, based on the collection. Value on your piece, I'd have to see a picture. Depends on whether it's cast sterling silver, cast gold gold plated over another metal, silver plated over another metal, this kind of thing. So I'll take a look. But yes, it could be from a museum and Mark Peru indicates that. Hey, NASA's back. Good for you. Hi. How are you doing? I think what's I got you first, now. What's your first name, hon? Drenton. Drenton, thank you for fixing your technical difficulty. I appreciate it. So question of the day, Kiss or the Bee Gees? I would go Kiss. All right, Kiss. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay, okay, what have we got? <clears throat> I got in a piece of artwork by from by Charles Bragg. Nice. It's of the yeah, it's riddle. Charles Bragg, very well known, of course. Representative style artwork. That's nice. And right. um, that that piece is signed as well. That piece is signed. Yes. Did I lose it is it? signed. Okay. It is signed. It's um. It's done, I believe, just in pencil. I think it's an original. I'm not entirely a, sure. I can't find anything like it online. That doesn't mean anything. You can't find okay. anything like it online means nothing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> well, you know, I mean, we can find everything like it up here. Anyway, a couple of different things. And that's because I evaluated last year, 50,000 objects last year. 50,000. It's a lot of Jeez. objects. So you that's can keep lot. scrolling forever and still not find what you're looking for. A couple of different things. First of all, late 20th century piece, original graphite. That's pencil drawing. Um, oftentimes, you'll also see prints like it. How did you acquire it? Where did you buy it? How much did you pay? I bought it at an estate sale on the last day for five dollars. Last day, go late. I was just saying that about that's, the about the yard sale because everybody said a whole deal by then, right? Yep, best deals. Best deals. Value on. Oh, and, and where are you calling from? Uh, Mission Viejo, California. Oh, nice. I like it. <laughs> All right, value on that piece one hundred and seventy-five dollars. That includes the frame. Probably dates again late twentieth century. Thanks oh, so cool. much for being perseverance. I like perseverance. Thanks so much for working it out and coming back to us. I appreciate that. I appreciate all of you. I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD antiques appraiser. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. I'll see you next time.